Hey friends, John here, coming to you from my kitchen, because all the best conversations happen in the kitchen, don't they? So um, it's been about three months since I did a video blog on my journey, academia, and I thought I would just pop on here and do a, a live video to update those who are interested in my doctoral journey. Uh, I posted down below links to the previous videos. The very first video blog I did um, inside the doctoral uh, process at Liberty University, it's become one of the most viewed videos on my YouTube channel, which is crazy insane. And if you look at the comment section, it's been a really robust dialogue uh, answering questions from people who are interested in how, you know, how do you earn your doctorate? And then also just from other students and sharing about their experiences at Liberty. And so that's been really, really fruitful. Um, so tonight I thought I would just kind of update you and then I'll share with you some of, uh, some of my reading list right now as I'm reading a ton, uh, in the doctoral candidacy phase. So, um, to kind of rewind why I'm doing this, um, pursuing my doctorate, I've always hungered for knowledge and truth. And all the way back to when I was in college and I was feeling called into full-time ministry, I kind of knew in my heart that it would include a long, lengthy educational journey. And at that time, like 22 years ago, I thought that I would go for my doctorate in Christian apologetics. Apologetics is defense of the faith. First Peter 3.15, Jude 3, contend for the faith that was once for all and trusted the saints. Um, but that's not how God uh, worked it out. Um, I, I'm going for a different type of doctorate. But before I get to that, um, so Amber and I finished our undergrads. Then we both pursued our master's work at Ashland Theological Seminary in Ohio. And then uh, we also jumped into full-time ministry. So next week, I'm marking 22 years in full-time ministry, first as a youth pastor, and then as a church planter slash senior pastor, uh, slash teaching pastor, slash janitor. You know, you do everything. And uh, anyhow, uh, Basically, when we got to COVID and the world stopped and the earth called a major timeout on everybody, that's kind of when we everybody seemed to reassess their lives and, and their goals. And I just knew, hey, I'm not getting any younger. I'm in my 40s and I hunger for, for more knowledge and more truth and more. I want to understand myself better. You know, I want to improve as a leader and as a pastor. And so um, during that year of the lockdowns and the schools were all wonky. We pulled our two oldest children out of the school system and homeschooled them using Liberty Online. And Amber and I were very impressed with just how everything was so well designed for the online experience. They, they had instant communication access by video with their teachers. The curriculum was excellent. The way you took tests online, it was just great. So. You know, last year, it was a no-brainer when I said, I'm going to dive into the doctoral journey. And I began taking classes online in the summer of 2022. Uh, and I, I'm doing this online because it would be very, very difficult for me to travel to Virginia, to the site of Liberty University, while I'm married and have five kids and we don't want to disrupt their schooling. We have zero intention of, of moving from the Great Lakes Bay region. We, we really feel called by God to be here. So we're 13 years into that journey. So going online was, was kind of a no-brainer. And uh, I'm enrolled in the Rawlings School of Divinity, pursuing a doctorate of ministry, but not in Christian apologetics. I am pursuing it in church planting and evangelism. It's just kind of the journey that God has had me on for the past 20 years. And my top spiritual gift is evangelism. 
Um, you know, I can be talking to a stranger and within 10 minutes, you know, lead them in the prayer of repentance. And so uh, to, to, you know, really sharpen my expertise in the fields of starting churches from scratch and reaching people far from God, that, that's just my passion. That's really my heart. That's my calling. And so uh, there's three phases to the doctoral uh, journey. The first is you have some core classes that everybody has to take. And it's really set up nicely. Liberty University has this password protected online portal called Canvas. And it's where you interact with other students, you connect with the professors, all your schoolwork happens through the Canvas. It's so intuitive and so user friendly. I didn't even read the instructions. I just dove right into Canvas and it was super easy. Each class is eight weeks, and each week you have a number of assignments, of a lot of reading. So if you're going to get your doctorate, you are going to read a lot. And I love that. Like you're talking to the guy that's got a library at home and a library in my study at church. So I have no qualms about reading. You also watch a lot of video lectures from your professors which I enjoy being a student of communication. I, I enjoy seeing the different communication styles. Some professors are very uh, silly. Some are very you know, firm and abrupt, and I just eat it up. I love it. And then uh, there's discussion boards where you are assigned uh, times and topics for interacting with other students in your uh, doctoral class, which is great because that way you don't feel alone. You're also getting input um, from other fellow students and you're meeting people from around the world, which is just incredible in this day and age. So you have your core classes that, that I knocked out last fall and then I just plowed right ahead and got into my cognate classes, which are specifically about church planting and evangelism and went through those in the winter of 2022. And now, uh, I'm in a, a, the third phase, which is called uh, the doctoral candidacy phase. And, and to describe it, I actually went onto the Rawlings School of Divinity webpage so I could get the language exactly right, because that's what they teach you to do as a doctoral student, to be very precise and to be able to cite your works. I know how to do footnotes up the wazoo and bibliographies because uh, the worst sin you can commit when you're pursuing your doctorate would be to plagiarize intentionally or accidentally to take someone's idea and not attribute the source. So you are always citing your works. That's been a very, very good uh, learning experience for me. So the, right now I'm in the doctoral candidacy phase which means once students have completed their core courses and their cognate courses, they begin a new stage in the degree program called doctoral candidacy. Doctoral candidates are more than a student. They are researchers seeking out cutting edge solutions for real world contemporary problems that have been presented within their ministry context. They build on the knowledge base they have acquired in the core and cognate courses and complete a focused examination of a specific issue that produces new and innovative solutions to address this specific problem. So since uh, early spring of 2022, I've been uh, focused on a specific problem statement that's directly connected to Life Church right here in the Great Lakes Bay region of Michigan. And I've been going through the candidacy classes, which involves tons of research, tons of reading, journals and books, and tons of writing. And one thing I've loved about Liberty University online is that I haven't had to purchase any textbooks. Everything I've needed, all the books and all the journal articles are available to me as a student through their online digital library. 
which is a tremendous resource and a huge blessing. Because when you're in ministry, when you're in post-pandemic ministry and giving is down at church, which means the pastor's salary is way down, uh, it's so helpful that you don't have to purchase all these textbooks, that it's just available to you, which is a huge, huge blessing. So there's four classes in the doctoral candidacy phase. And during these classes, you're writing your thesis, which will be about a, I don't know, 120 to 150 page book is what you're writing that you later have to defend. And I am in the fourth and final class of my doctoral candidacy, which means uh, over the next six weeks, I'm finishing up that class. Uh, I'm actually, uh, the project I'm working on is a, involves developing a new podcast. So I pulled um, all my past podcast, uh, you know, content, pulled it all down so that um, I can do a better job refining it and uh, producing something of, of doctoral level. And that class should wrap up before Christmas. And then after New Year's, I start the fourth and final piece of the journey, which is um, the defense, which means I'll have produced a professional doctoral thesis that will be presented to some professors, some PhDs at the Rawlings School of Divinity. And then they will put me on the hot seat and I will have to provide an adequate defense of my doctoral research. And so that defense will probably occur in either mid-February to early March, God willing, if I uh, make, make it through my defense with flying colors, then I'll be graduating before Easter with my doctorate in ministry. And, uh, and then I'm not going anywhere, which is so important to share because people are always asking me or asking Amber, you know, are you guys going to move away? Are you going to leave? What, what's going No, no, we are not going any, we are not selling this house. We will not disrupt our children's school experience because, uh, you see, you got to understand the average pastor in America stays at their church for about two years on average. And Amber and I have been here for 13 years. So we are the anomaly, right? Um, and I grew up a pastor's kid, so I understand what it's like to have your school experience disrupted and you have to meet new friends and things. We decided very early on we will not do that to our children. Plus, more importantly, possibly, we feel called by God to do ministry here in the Great Lakes Bay region of Michigan. So you're not going to see us quitting on you or walking out on you or ghosting you. That's not us at all. Uh, you're stuck with us. <laughs> uh, hopefully, as a result of this doctoral journey, um, I'll be a more refined pastor, uh, a, a more seasoned, wiser leader, and more effective in ministry. Um, that's certainly the goal in, in this, this journey. So that's where I'm at, is uh, I, I'm in the doctoral candidacy closing stages. A uh, couple books that I am reading a lot as I'm working on, uh, one of the projects I'm working on for my thesis is a, a podcast. Uh, I thought I would just share these with you in case you're looking for something to read. Most of these involve uh, church planting, evangelism, um, and creating a presence, a ministry presence online. So real quickly, some of these books, uh, this book is called PR Matters, The Survival Guide for Church Communicators by Justin Dean. It came out two years ago. Then... Uh, one of my favorite authors, Dave Ramsey, Entree Leadership, 20 Years of Practical Business Wisdom from the Trenches. This book is, I think, 10 years old. This is one of the two books I read that helped form Life Church. So that's a great book. 
Here's a book that came out 10 years ago that I'm using right now in my doctoral research. It's called Platform, Get Noticed in a Noisy World. It's by Michael Hyatt. It's fantastic. This is the newest book. And this one I've been citing the most in my thesis work. It's called Meta Church by Dave Adamson. It's how to use digital ministry to reach people and make disciples. This book just came out a few months ago. It is a game changer. Like if you're watching this and you're not part of Life Church, but you're part of another church community, you need to go on Amazon and buy Meta Church for your pastor. They will thank you or for your youth pastor or whatever. This is this is such a game changer. Uh, I've been looking at this book a little bit, Shane Hips. It's called Flickering Pixels, How Technology Shapes Your Faith. And two more books. This one is uh, the only non-Christian book of the bunch. It's Ask Gary V. One Entrepreneur's Take on Leadership social media self-awareness this came out uh, about four years ago so some of this is dated already but it's by gary vaynerchuk and the last book that just came out this week that really has nothing to do with my doctoral work but i'm reading it and you should read it too this just released this week it's by timothy keller new york times best-selling author of the reason for god timothy keller's book forgive why should i and how can i oh my goodness this book should be required reading for everybody in America right now. Seriously, this, this book is so good. Go to Amazon. I don't get a kickback on this. I'm just telling you, this guy is smoking what he's selling. Tim Keller, the book is called Forgive. Why should I, how can I? So good. Um, so thankful for the support of my wife and uh, I don't think my kids quite understand this journey I'm on. They will someday. They'll appreciate it one day. Right now, they just know that daddy is always writing papers. <laughs> and, uh, and of course, thankful to our church family, Life Church, uh, for being supportive of this endeavor. Um, so down below are links to the previous video blogs. If you are interested in seeing those, you're welcome to comment. Um, ask questions about the journey if it's helpful to you. Um, but it's been fun on YouTube in the comment section to meet other Liberty students or potential students and kind of hear their journey and hear their story and interact and dialogue. That's been really, really cool. So I hope that it can continue. Hopefully I haven't bored you, uh, but I just wanted to give you a video update. I will probably do it. This one was three months later. That one I think was after three months. So for whatever reason, three months seems to be when I do these updates. So I'll probably do another one in the new year uh, during the defense when I'm really stressed out and no, I'll be fine. Uh, thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your encouragement. I hope this has been helpful to you. Highly recommend Liberty University online. And with that, I'll let you go. Enjoy your burrito. <laughs>